is a third yeah. already? Yeah. Monday, June 3rd. Um, today's Monday, June 3rd. We're uh, five days out from Atlantic State's uh, Bev Francis show in uh, New York. It's in the uh, Tribeca Theater. Um, we just got done a shoulder workout here at uh, Greg Long's gym. So this last year, um, I've been working with uh, Fakri Mubarak, and uh, it's really been an awesome year. We've uh, made a lot of changes to my physique. Uh, it's been almost a full year since I was here last year we did the video. And um, this year, we added cardio in. I've never done cardio before, show prep. Like I said, uh, I told you guys last time, I'm doing about an hour and 20 minutes a day right now. Um, about 45 minutes fasted in the morning on the stepper, uh, excuse me, on the treadmill. And then I'm doing the stepper at night. I'm doing usually about a half hour. Um, keeping my heart rate about 130 to 140. And um, just consistent. We, we switched it up. We tried to do some hit. Um, and I started burning way too much uh, muscle. So we do the, we switched back to doing the uh, consistent heart rate at 130 to 140. Um, Diet-wise, last year I was doing um, basically all red meat and a couple white meat meals. Um, all the way up until show day. This year, I've been all fish for the last three weeks now. Um, I'm doing about uh, 50 ounces of tilapia a day, which is miserable, and uh, about three, three and a half cups of egg whites, and then carbs. Um, I've been switching dependent. I check in with them. I was checking in with them every week. Um, now that we're closer, we're doing every like three days. So they've been up to about 500, and the lowest they've been is about 150, but they're still around 170 right now, uh, five days out. So it's been keeping my energy high. Um, I still have one red meat meal in and some almonds. So a couple fats in there, decent amount of carbs. So my energy is pretty good for being five days out. <sighs> Good luck. Huh? 
That's a good look. Yeah, and it's got, you've got the fibers running across the top of your pecs. And, and that shows that you're, you're staying full. And you're still, and you're still coming in. You know, you've still got these lines to come out. Uh, water. Yeah, it's all right. Yeah, no. No, no, no. Don't worry about that. Yeah. No, no. Just see what's that is. Yeah, as long as you don't lose that, you won't. If you stay what you're doing, you won't lose that, man. You're going to keep it. See, they'll start coming apart on you to get harder and catch up with the with the rest. But if you go back and fill it up with 25 pounds of just a game to say, hey, I'm going to gain. Well, now they're back into zero land. Your better parts are going to always come back nice. But they'll, they'll, they'll be the laggers, you know, until you get them in that mix with everything else. So I get asked a lot um, why I always wear such big headphones. I wear those uh, Dr. Dre beat, they're the pros, like the biggest ones you can find. And uh, it's not that I'm that guy in the gym that you can't come up to and talk to, because I absolutely am, but um, I'm in the gym for an hour and 20 minutes a day, and I'm there for a reason. And uh, you know, I unfortunately have to go to a chain gym, I have to go to LA Fitness, and. Uh, there's a lot of people, and the bigger the headphones are, the less people that come up and talk to you and distract you during your, your workout. Um, but, you know, as soon as I'm done my workout, they come off, and any questions anybody ever has to ask me or wants to approach me and, you know, talk to me, then that's, I'm all for it. But uh, during that hour and 20 minutes, I'm, uh, it's, it's strictly business. <sighs> So uh, a day in the life would be um, up at uh, 5.30 or 6 to do uh, fasted cardio. Um, after my fasted cardio, I get my first meal in at my house, um, and I get to work by usually 8 o'clock. Um, I'm at work from 8 till 5.30, and during that period, I get in um, four meals while I'm at work, um, spaced out every two hours. Um, after work at 5.30, I leave, I go straight to the gym. I get to the gym usually about 6, um, and then from about 6 to 7.15, uh, I get my workout in, um, and then I try to get in a meal in between that time um, that I finish my workout and by the time I, I start cardio. Sometimes I do straight, go straight into cardio, and then I'll eat my meal my way back to my house. Um, so I do the 30 minutes of post-workout cardio after the, uh, my workout, and I'm usually home by about 8.39. 
um, and I cook for usually two days worth of food so I don't have to wake up in the morning and cook uh, you know four pounds of tilapia and then I get my last meal in around 10 10 30 um, uh, it's my egg white meal which is usually pretty quick um, and then I go to bed and I wake up and I do it all over again um, you know it's a it's a busy schedule, it's hectic, um, but it's what I love to do, and so I make sure there's time, I get time in every day for my meals, for cardio, um, you know, for my family, uh, for my loved ones. Um, so I have two days off from the gym, and I make sure on those two days, you know, I spend the time with the people I love. So it's, uh, I think it's really important to schedule your time um, in a manner that you get in the, the things that you love and you get in the things that are important. Um, so it's a, it's a long day, but it's a rewarding day. Approaching this prep is, uh, my mindset's the same as, as it's been every prep is, is I, I do this to, to be, uh, to win the show. I, I mean, I want to obviously bring a better package than I brought last year, but um, if that package isn't big enough, isn't a good enough package to win the overall, then I didn't do my job. I know it's a uh, it's a big competition, and there's going to be some big boys there. But uh, I've prepared all year long for this, and uh, I'm ready to uh, bring the best package I've ever brought to the stage this year in five days. I, I never wanted to be mediocre at anything. I've said that numerous times. And so if I don't, you know, go into the show and, and win you overall, uh, I would be disappointed in myself.